Welcome back to The Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We are The Basement, we are the friendliest place on YouTube, and we are um, reviewing today a product. I got this product for free in the mail. It is a GameSir T4 Pro controller uh, compatible with the Switch. And uh, nice box there. It's supposed to be a good controller. So um, let's open it up and see what we got. Alrighty, we've got our um, box here. Let's uh, let's see. We got two stickers with logos on them. Let's cut those open. Asymmetric motors. So it claims to have HD rumble. So we've got the instruction manual and how it works there. It looks to be in lots of different languages. English up front. Set that down. And then here we have the controller itself. Good weight to it. Well, there's buttons down here. That's kind of interesting. The, um, the joysticks feel good. That D-pad might be better. Let's see, start, select, turbo, home. I wonder if turbo will take pictures like the actual Nintendo Pro Controller. Okay, and we've got this thumb drive in here, presumably for um, installing software and connecting via Bluetooth. I see a little light there. And, uh, oh, look at this. This is um, something you can connect to the controller there, and then you can put your phone in there, or if you're brave and that's tall enough, I suppose you could fit your switch screen in there. In fact, let's give that a try. Okay, so here's my switch, and uh, Joy-Con are still attached. Let's see if this thing... Mm. Seems like it's good for a... good for a phone, maybe. That's a little heavy and unwieldy. I, I wouldn't do that. There we go. Alright, now here is the uh, Nintendo brand Pro Controller for comparison. They're pretty similar size. The Nintendo controller is a little heavier. Those feel similar. The D-pad is a little, a little wider, but it's not as raised up off of the controller. The triggers have a little more of a shape to them as well. You can kind of see how this one's got like a fin on it here, and uh, the Nintendo one is pretty flat. Yeah, and I gotta say, it feels good in my hands, so um, I'll try playing with it and uh, we'll see what we think. Well, I played for a bit and uh, the controller feels good. Um, at first when I was using it, I thought this it feels a little weird. Um, but I forgot that I was playing with a third-party controller uh, within a few minutes of playing. So I think just because I'm used to the Nintendo Pro Controller and this is a slightly different shape that um, I noticed that I was holding it at first. But what happened after a while was I was just playing the game and uh, the controller worked great for that. Um, it doesn't... I never noticed it after those first couple minutes while playing. And uh, if there was something goofy with the way that the joysticks worked or the, you know, any of the buttons or whatever, I, that would have irked me while I was playing and there was none of that. And I do actually, I wanna just turn it on real quick and show you guys kinda how cool this is. Yeah, like those light up there, it's uh, kinda neat. Um, and those buttons are fully programmable and swappable and everything. So 
once you connect, you can customize it however much you like, and uh, that's pretty cool. So, um, the GameSir T4 Pro, it's a good third-party controller. Um, I know that the Nintendo Switch's Pro Controller is a little pricey, and so if you're looking to save a few bucks, but still get a controller that's not chintzy and cheap, then uh, I recommend this one. Um, I feel like it was a good product, and I didn't. I didn't have to say that. Um, they sent me one of these, and they said, "Whatever you want to say about it, honest feedback is fine. We just want you to put it on your channel and let uh, your audience know about it as a product." So there you go. Um, it's the Game Sir T4 Pro, and uh, I'll put a link to purchase the controller in the description of this video uh, as probably as well as down in the comments um, as the top pinned comment and uh, if you're interested you can go get one we don't get any um, commission or anything for that uh, I'm just saying I've bought third-party controllers for older consoles in the past and some of them just feel wrong in your hand the whole time or the buttons wear out quick or whatever. This one feels like a pretty good quality and I know it's less than the Nintendo, the Nintendo brand uh, Pro Controller. So uh, take that for what you will and I uh, hope you found this review useful and uh, have yourself a nice day in the basement.